What's new in macOS 10.12.2? macOS 10.12.2 is a fairly substantial update, mainly because of all the bug fixes that it brings to the table, so you're definitely going to want to upgrade. That said, there are some new features added to the mix, such as the ability to take screenshots of the touch bar if you have a touch bar enabled MacBook Pro. So all you need to do is go to System Preferences, go to Keyboard, Shortcut, Screenshot, and now you can use this shortcut, which is Command Shift 6, to take a screenshot of your touch bar. So let's try it out right now. So Command Shift 6, there you go. There's your screenshot of the touch bar. Super simple, super easy. You can also save a screenshot to your clipboard if you wanna do that as well. Now the next new feature is the ability to invoke the Chinese trackpad handwriting interface directly from the touch bar. Now to do this, you actually have to add a Chinese input source. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm adding the Chinese simplified input source for the handwriting, and you can see that it adds both trackpad handwriting and stroke simplified. So once we have that there, we can go back to keyboard under system preferences, click customize control strip, tap the chevron, and then drag down the little handwriting button directly to the control strip. So now we can invoke the Chinese handwriting interface for the trackpad directly from the touch bar. Of course, you would have to have a touch bar enabled MacBook Pro, but let me show you how this works. So we're gonna open up text edit here, and now I'm just gonna put my cursor in there, and I'm going to invoke the handwriting interface using the touch bar, there it is. And I can actually draw on the trackpad like that, and then use the touch bar to select my characters, just like this. So Rin and San. So do three little strokes there, and select San just like that. All right, so that is how you use the new touch bar shortcut for the Chinese handwriting trackpad interface in macOS 10.12.2. All right, so let's talk about something else. And it's actually a point of controversy, especially when it comes to new MacBook Pro owners. The estimated time remaining is no longer available when you click on the battery icon in the menu bar because Apple is basically indicating that this reading is no longer accurate or it doesn't provide accurate results on the latest machines, the newest hardware, and the latest operating system. I have actually tested out the battery life for the new MacBook Pro and I found that it's actually fairly decent. Um, you get about eight hours with the iTunes test. Not great, but decent enough in most cases. If you do, however, want to find your estimated time remaining, you can still do so if you go into the activity monitor, you click on your energy tab, you'll see a time estimate there. Now, whether or not that's any more accurate than what we usually use with the battery indicator, eh, I don't know. I've never found that indicator to be that accurate to begin with, but the way I use my Mac is probably a lot different than the way most people use their Macs. So let's talk about another feature here and that is improved setup and reliability for auto unlock for Apple Watch users. And you know, I did test this out. I didn't really notice any major differences as far as how long it takes to unlock your, your Mac with your Apple Watch, but it works pretty reliably and consistently. So I've never had a huge problem with it, but any improvements that Apple can make is obviously a good thing. And there are lots of additional bug fixes and things of that nature. I urge you to go over to 9to5Mac, check out the change log and check out the posts we've done today about macOS 10.12.2. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.